In this video, we're exploring the top 5 toxic K-pop fandoms. But before we dive in, let's clarify what fandom means. A fandom is a group of passionate fans who share a common interest in a specific person, group, or piece of media. They engage enthusiastically through discussions, fan art, fan fiction, events, and support for their subject of admiration. Fandoms can vary in size and play a significant role in shaping popular culture. Now, let's get into the video. While the term Blinks was originally coined to represent the deep bond between Blackpink and their devoted fan base, the community has become shadowed with toxicity. What was meant to be a symbol of unity has, in some instances, morphed into a breeding ground for negative behavior, cyberbullying and prevalent issue within the fandom, which has seen fans attacking each other or individuals with different opinions of the group, often resorting to harassment and intimidation tactics online. Fan wars, fueled by intense competition with other fandoms, have led to heated exchanges and divisive conflicts that overshadow the music and achievements of Blackpink. Additionally, Gatekeeping, where certain fans assert authority over who can or cannot be considered a true fan, has fostered exclusionary attitudes and created a hostile environment for newcomers or those with differing opinions. These instances of toxicity have unfortunately tainted the reputation of the Blink community, highlighting the need for greater awareness and efforts to promote positivity and inclusivity within fandom spaces, so those who are kind and supportive can shine though. 2 Army Army is the title given upon those who support the sensation BTS despite its initial intent to signify unity and support, the Army community has garnered notoriety for its toxic tendencies. Childish behavior, fan rivalries, and excessive idolization are prevalent issues within the Army fandom, often resulting in online harassment and intimidation tactics. For explain Ti Hyung interacted with Olivia Rodrigo at the awards and she received a lot of hate for nothing those toxic stands even went so far as to send her death threats. And again when Ti Hyung accidentally followed Jenny on Instagram. It wasn't Jenny's fault, but she was the one who got hate. Fan conflicts, driven by intense competition with other fan groups, frequently overshadow those who are true fans of BTS is the term embraced by fans of the popular K-pop girl group TWICE. Despite its original intention to foster a sense of solidarity and admiration, the ONCE fandom has sadly earned a reputation for toxicity. Instances of fan wars, and extreme behavior, such as stalking members, have tainted the community. Some fans' obsession with the group has crossed boundaries, leading to invasive and inappropriate behavior towards TWICE members. Such actions not only violate the privacy and safety of the artists but also create a negative image for the ONCE fandom as a whole. And as represents the dedicated fan base of the rising K-pop group New Jeans. Despite their initial excitement and support for the group, the Bunnies fandom has unfortunately become known for its toxic behavior too. By internal strife and hostile behavior. Bullying within the Bunnies community has been reported, with fans attacking each other over differences in opinions or support for the group. Additionally, there have been instances of aggressive behavior towards individuals who criticize or express concerns about the group's members or activities. This toxic atmosphere not only harms the cohesion of the fandom but also, undermines the positive aspects of supporting new genes. It's imperative for the Barney's fandom to address these issues and foster a more inclusive and supportive environment for all fans to enjoy their passion for the group. A refers to the devoted fan base of the dynamic K-pop group Stray Kids. Despite their initial dedication and enthusiasm, the Stay fandom has garnered attention for its toxic behavior. Reports have surfaced of cyberbullying and internal conflicts within the Stay community, creating rifts among fans and detracting from the group's accomplishments. Some Stay fans have been observed exhibiting obsessive behavior towards the group, such as stalking or invasive attempts to engage with the members. This negative conduct not only damages the reputation of the fandom but also poses risks to the well-being of the artists. It is crucial for the Stay fandom to address these toxic behaviors and cultivate a more positive and supportive environment for both fans and Stray Kids themselves. To conclude, it's important to recognize that not every fan exhibits toxic behavior and this video reflects solely my opinion. If you have thoughts on which fandom you believe is the most toxic or want to add anything, feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. However, 
I want to emphasize that this video is not intended for attacking others. Let's foster constructive dialogue and respect within the community. Thank you for watching.